Welcome back to Raid Shadow Legends with Blazing Corp. We are going to be doing the Doom Tower progression mission uh, here as uh, we are on our way to getting uh, Rune's blood, Drake's blood uh, there as we are on our way to getting him uh, here. So we've got the Doom Tower mission, beat the Doom Tower boss on floor 50, normal no problem let's get it done and we're going to try to bring mother cybel fully maxed out into this content uh, because i just got her and i want to give her a try next all right so we've got so we're here Floor 50 versus the Celestial Griffin uh, here. So who should we take out to bring in Mother Cybo? My first thought is to take out Doom Priest. Yeah, let's take out Doom Priest and throw Mother Cybo in here. Uh, who is not fully maxed out uh, here, but uh, yeah, whatever. 59 is as good as 60, right? Maybe. Uh-oh, retard alert. Ah, oh, well. Let's take a look at the stats, all right? All right, so first one off the bat is going to be Ninja. We've got a Resilience set and then Broken. Uh, otherwise, uh, let's see the stats. So 31,000 hit points, 4,400 attack. 2100 defense, 211 speed, 88 crit rate, 253 crit damage, 164 resistance, and then 306 accuracy. So he, he's pretty, he's definitely like solidly in the mid game build. We then have Under Priest Bragni, he's fantastic. He's got a stun set on. Here are the stats we're working with 80,000. Uh, 1600 attack, 2500 defense, 213 speed, 31 crit rate, 108 crit damage, 253 resistance, 162 accuracy. He's definitely in the market for a rekit once we get gear that makes sense. Uh, we've got Sill of the Drakes. Uh, she is fantastic. Uh, we've got a perception set on her and then a broken set. We've got 49,000 hit points, uh, 3,500 defense, 204 crit rate, 108 crit damage, one, oh, 204 speed, right? 108 crit damage, uh, sorry, 126 crit damage, ooh, 297 resistance, 257 accuracy. She is definitely kitted for the end game. Uh, here, so that's why we're bringing her into top level content. So we've got three down. Where is Melga Steel Girdle? There you are. Uh, she's got a perception set on and then broken otherwise. Uh, we've got 5,500 hit points, 3,100 defense, 242 speed. So she's ridiculously fast. And then 360 resistance. So she should not, she should be resisting everything under the sun uh, there with her high resistance. And then last but not least, we've got Mother Cybel right here. She's got a speed set on and broken otherwise. Uh, we have on her 5,200 health points, uh, 1,700 attack. 3,900 defense uh, here. So that is almost 4,000. Uh, we've got uh, 221 speed, 47 crit rate, 467 crit damage, 249 resistance. So just one off from uh, you know being fully able to resist anything. But at this particular level, she should be fine uh, here. All right, so let's get this party started. It's time to do, 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 do. All 
All right, so I have no clue how this team is going to run. We are doing this live uh, here. So we're recording this uh, as we're streaming to Twitch. Uh, this should be rather interesting uh, here. Oh, I wonder how she's going to hit, actually. Let's see how much she hits for. Uh, it's nothing crazy. It's nothing crazy uh, here. Now, if I built her out with crit damage, crit, and uh, crit rate, I think she could hit pretty decently. But she's more support than anything else. So not super concerned with her hits uh, there whatsoever. Now, one thing you could do is you could kit her in a stun set, you know, and at least that way, whenever she's rolling around that, she'd be fine. Uh, she's putting out some. That's interesting. I don't know. I don't know if she's hindering. She's not hindering, that's for sure. Yeah, she's definitely not hindering anything. She's not really helping. She was able to get. No, no, that wasn't her. That could have been her. Could have been her. Could have been still the Drakes who got that decreased speed. That was, that was kind of neat. She does move pretty fast because she's got the uh, turn meter control. I guess she is making sure that they just can't die. So that's interesting. Yeah, she didn't really do much there. Although she did cover all bases. So, you know, um, I guess you could bring her in as the main reviver. But you'd have to be really careful that she had her uh, revive on death on like pretty much all the time. Now, one thing she did bring in, which is kind of nice here, was the ability to have an increased defense uh, here. So that is actually pretty nice uh, on that side of things. Well, that has been it for this particular video. I know it's a little bit more of a short one uh, here. Uh, definitely, um, you know, Mother Saibo had a good entrance. Fantastic for her. Um, I could definitely see her being good in some content as you roll her up. Uh, she's got good resistance, so never really was of any, you know, kind of craziness going on there. And then uh, you could always put her as a speed lead if you need to. All right, so um, definitely something you can do. Hey, guys, uh, make sure to like uh, the video. Comment on the video down below. Let me know who you're using, like if Mother Saibo, if you've got her, if you're using her anywhere uh, special, or if you'd like me to, to put her into teams in other parts of the content. Uh, here and uh, we'll kind of see what goes on there hey like the video no ninja watchers no ninja watchers no ninja watchers go ahead like the video hit that like button hit the subscribe button let's get these videos monetized have a fantastic day we're gonna see you next time let's chat then